Hi everyone and welcome to today's latest mix up video from Monster Hunter World. Today's set is going to be focused on the eradication flame gun lance, with a swift and mighty set that takes a controversial path than normal. So like always, let's take a look at the weapon's main stats first. The weapon is already a gun lance and has 483 attack value, which equates to 210 true war, 1 level 2 dual slot, 150 dragon with high elder seal, max star blue sharpness, 1 augmentation slot and a level 2 wide shell. So firstly, although it has incredibly high attack straight off the bat and maxed up blue sharpness so you don't have to use handicraft, this weapon for Gunlance kind of fails around its main core design of combining both melee and shelling in one. As you can see, its shelling type is incredibly low and practically near useless if used against high end monsters, since for the amount of fixed damage it gives, which is around 20 plus, it's not enough to be fully used and incorporated into the build, even with buffs and artillery added into the mix. Which makes this a very strange weapon to use since you're only left with building ground just as melee attacks, which is why I also said this is a controversial set, as it's going against the core design of the weapon. Although this does make a very new take on trying out weapons through other alternative ways, and moving away from their old core design just for the fun of it. With its attack value and sharpness being exceptionally high straight away, it leaves you plenty of room to min max the set with even more damage you could add, and for this I'd advise you to focus on an aggressive and mobile set as you won't be relying on your shield much, nor will you be using your shells, unless you use it for chip damage. Also, as this weapon does have high Elder Seal built into it, it makes it even more better to use against Elder Dragons, which will be your main end game at this point. Alternatively, if you wanted a bigger and better version of this weapon that packs a meteor punch, then I suggest you take a look at the Devil Joe's Insatiable Gun Lance, with its 529 attack value, which equates to 230 raw, which is pretty large. Decent sharpness that can reach white, 240 dragon, high elder seal, and minus 30 affinity, which is usually a trade off for the high damage. As you can see, this weapon is very similar in terms of playstyle that the Eradication Flame also shares, and are two of the best melee based gun lances in game to date. Now, just to note, using this weapon's melee only options are only effective against those that have easy hit weak points, since that's where the majority of your damage can build up on. Using this against those that have tougher shells will reduce the overall damage on your end. So it's best to be aware of what monsters you face with the setup before generally heading out and taking them on. Now the build I have in mind for the Eradication Flame is going to be focused purely on the raw side since the weapon is already halfway there, while at the same time not using my guard or guard up skills and rather more mobile skills so I can do hit and run tactics and better position myself. So firstly we have Critical Ice 7 which gives us 30 plus affinity, attack boost 5 for the large boost in damage and 5% extra affinity. Critical Boost 3 to increase our critical chance damage when it procs, Weakness Exploit 3 for the 50 plus affinity upon monsters weak points, Peak Performance 3 for another plus 20 in attack, Evade Extender 2 to allow me to move around and dodge faster, but if you've got the space and slot available, I say go for Evade Extender 3 as it will really change up how you move around on the battlefield. Power Prolonger 1, which is part of the Drachian Waste and has no use for us, and lastly, Elemental Airborne, which is from the two-piece Jutchen armor set and offers an increase in aerial elemental damage, but is very situational at best as for this set, you're not really going to be using a lot of aerial attacks unless you want to go with an aerial playstyle, which I do suggest you try out as it's quite fun. Overall, this will increase your attack to 552, which equals to around 230 war with power talon and charm attached, 85 affinity, 412 defense once upgraded and with the necessary charm and talon attached. Now, personally, the common thought of using a gun lance with no shells is quite controversial, like I've previously mentioned, to many players, as the thought of not maximising around the weapon's shells, which is part of the weapon's overall design, is a major loss in terms of overall damage, with many saying it's better to just use a lance if you want stronger and higher hitting attacks with no shells used. And if you decide to use this, you will get that a lot by a lot of players. Even though you do mention it's a gimmick or a controversial set, people would still try and tell you that even no matter how bad the shells are, you have to use it as a gun lance, you can't play it otherwise. So if you ever hear that from someone, don't bother, just play it how you want to. Now the thing about this is that I've already played my fair share of the game for over 100 plus hours, so using a set based from the opposite of the weapon is quite fun. And like I said, it's highly recommend you try out, even if it does sound barbaric to many few who wouldn't. At this point you can play the game over and over and over again, playing the same tactic over and over again, or you can change it up and try something different and new. Because honestly, 
it's more fun to try something else out and see how it plays rather than playing the same thing over and over again till you get genuinely bored. And another thing, this gun launch is very underused for not its stats but for its shells level, being severely lower than most of the higher ranked gun launches in game. Although it can still work with artillery, it won't be pushing out any considerable damage against the tougher and higher monsters. In fact, most of the damage will be coming from your blade rather than both shells and blade, so straight away this should tell you what type of player server has to be used just for this weapon. Now you could go ahead and just follow it as if you were using the poke shell poke shell playstyle, but for this one here, it's going to be more of the Y swing, upward swings and downward swings, just the one the main blunt damage attacks. Because at this point here, if you decide to use shells with this weapon, you're going to lose sharpness very quickly and you're going to lose damage incredibly quickly and it's definitely not worth it. Now with the set here I've given you, it provides the works for a mobile and very damaging set, capable of building up damage effectively if you know how to use your base extender to its fullest. Damage varies on monsters you face, with most of my attack either being around 50 plus to around 90 to 100 plus, depending on if I hit the monster's main weak points and depending if I manage to pull off a full combo there and then. But honestly, when you pull it off, you really do feel the power behind it. I would say that this is a perfect little set to play and mess around with in your own spare times or if you're in groups of buddies or generally anything, as it utilizes the downside of the weapon and focuses on improving on it to make it as effective and efficient as possible. So now this weapon has a use rather than being left behind. So now when you see this weapon, because no giant weapons tend to be one of the best beginner high end weapons, when you see this weapon, don't think of it as a poke shell type of playstyle you've got used as a weapon. Think of it purely on a melee based weapon, because that's genuinely what it's focused on. And although yes you can still use your shells to, I guess you can do full burst or you can still do the poke shell playstyle, think of using those only for when, I say, you want to put in a bit of extra damage or if you want to put in a bit of extra chip damage or if you've got the ability to do so. The damage won't be a lot, but it's definitely worth using nonetheless. So that does come to the end of the video, I do hope you genuinely enjoyed it, as I hope to bring more in the near future. If you liked it, then do leave a like, a sub, and also do press the bell button to stay always updated to when I upload. I would appreciate a lot if you do. But like always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.